Here's to the dream chasers. Here's to the kings that wake up every day with relentless effort to taste their dreams. To the people who are wise and strong to know that the opinions of men and women are only distractions from your divine destiny. See, people walk around every single day talking about what another man or woman can't accomplish because they can't stand the look of happiness on another individual's face. When they hate, you shine. When they throw shade, you become the sun. See, the thing about success, it ends all doubt. There's no better feeling in the world than telling someone, I told you so. No longer will we say what we can't do. From now on, we're gonna say what we can do. Because we all have a special gift. Some just want to talk about it. And others want to apply a plan to achieve it. Every night, you write on your dream board. You create the blueprint that will lead to a beautiful design that you have created. Let's take our dreams back from the dream killers. Let's show them that your gift is for you and it was never meant for anyone else. So today, when you step out the door and you close that deal, hit that home run, make that game winning shot, or make that key tackle, I want you to look up and tell the world this is for the dreamers that jumped. Everybody wants to be a beast until it's time to do what real beasts do. Everybody gets excited. E.T., the guru story, but nobody wants to get up at 3 o'clock. Everybody's excited when I say, I wake up at 3 o'clock, Eric's a beast, 3 o'clock. And then you try it twice at 5, and yo. <laughs> Like for real, you walk out of here pumped up, fired up, you get some new information, you're ready. Everybody wants to be a beast until it's time to do what beasts do. And what you have to understand is, everybody that you're going to hear from, Eric Thomas, my mother got pregnant with me at 17 years old, high school dropout, ate out of trash cans, lived in abandoned buildings, slept in cars, multi-million company that's changing the world. I didn't say America, the world, why? Because not only do I want to be a beast, if you follow my 24 hours, I do what beasts do. Stop waiting for your dreams. Run towards your dream. Because the moment you stop running, the moment you stop fighting, is the day you will lose. Don't wait for it. Continue to fight. Continue to chase of what you truly want out of your life. That dream is not going to wait and say, take a breather. It's going to say, come catch me. Catch me if you can. As you go through the challenges of life and you look at it and embrace whatever comes to you, don't run from it. Step toward it. Don't try and duck it like most people do. See, most people want it easy. See, easy come, easy what? Easy go. And I'm saying to you, whatever you got to do, do it, because if you don't, life is going to whoop you until you surrender. So if it's hard, then do it hard. You've got to believe in yourself. You've got to believe in your abilities. You've got to believe in your service, your company, your ideas, unquestionably. You've got to have faith, and that faith gives you patience. I'm not talking about what you say. You know how to say the right stuff. I'm talking about what you believe about yourself. You say the right things. You've been taught how to imitate faith. You talk, as my grandmother said, you talk at the big game. But you go home and live out your belief. If you believe, 
You are unlovable. You didn't believe you were dumb till you heard you were dumb. You didn't believe you couldn't learn till you heard somebody say you couldn't learn. You didn't believe you were unattractive till you heard somebody say. Every time you hit a low place, don't those voices come back up again? Every time things go wrong, don't those voices come back? You have never changed your belief. You can dress up, you can smell good, you can work out, you can say all the right things, you can walk around, you can be definite, you can be cool, you can be hip, but none of that will overcome that belief that you have in your heart that your life is over, that you made too many mistakes, that you're too old to get anything done in the kingdom. These things that you believe have become your vision state. It is your purpose. And unknowingly it has become your goal to live out the damnation of the words you rehearse to yourself. So you're busy trying to get everybody else to like something that you don't like. You're trying to convince everybody else that you are something that you don't believe. You can't get enough people to tell you you're pretty when you think you're up. That's why you keep needing some more. Until you change the words that are in your head. Talk to yourself! Talk to your mind! Talk to your childhood! Talk to your dilemma! Talk to your crisis! Change your story! Before you ever have a breakthrough, it's going to feel like a breakdown, but you can't give up. You got to keep pressing, keep pressing. Paul said, this one thing I do, forgetting what is behind, I press on. You got to keep pressing. You're going to fail. Keep pressing. Get up. Keep. How do we learn how to walk? We fail. We fail. We fail. We fail. We fail. Then we learn how to keep our balance. How about riding a bicycle? We crashed. We crashed. We crashed. So don't get upset because you fail. It's going to happen. But be resilient. The ability to bounce back up every time you fall. The Bible says a good person will fall seven times, but he gets up. This is the time when it's the quietest. It is the time when it's the most peaceful, when there are the least distractions. And of course, in miracles, it says the memory of God comes to the quiet mind. It cannot come where there is conflict. A mind at war with itself remembers not eternal gentleness. That's what you came from. It beckons you back to be awake. It's the most creative time in your life. Try it. Take that moment that you are, constant, you are being called by your source and awakened and force yourself to shake the cobwebs out. And if you can't, then put your feet on the floor and say, look, if I have to go back to sleep, I'm going to sleep with my feet on the floor. If I end the day without knowing more than I did when I woke up, it makes me wonder. What did I miss out on today? Am I getting lazy? I'm a disciplined person and this thought alone can get me going. We live in a big world and it's important for us to be aware of cultures other than our own. If you're going to think, think big. If you're going to live, live large. Your consciousness expands in every direction. It means there's no up and there's no down. 
It means there's no right and there's no wrong. It means that there's no north and there's no south. It means that there's no beginning and no end. You begin to move into a consciousness place within yourself that you'll find yourself, when you move into spirit, you're going to find yourself doing things that you don't understand why you're doing them. There is something that is calling you. And when an idea gets a hold of you, you get into this place of surrender, where you just, you let go. In the recovery movement, we've always called this, you, you let go and what? And you let God, you allow this great spirit to be something that infuses you in such a way that it becomes this thing bigger than your life that propels you into directions that you're willing to listen to. We forget that you don't have to be famous to have the ability to change at least your own personal history, to change the direction we go in our life. We have the power to choose, even if you haven't before. You can finally say, no more, I won't put up with that, within myself or from anybody else. And here's what I'm gonna do differently. That's where the breakthroughs really start to happen.